Hey, welcome back to the special championship edition episode of YCN Sports Wrap featuring the Kearsarge Cougars boys basketball team. Well, after the Cougars beat Summersworth in the semis, Kearsarge advanced into the Division III Finals, where they faced off against a familiar opponent, the Stevens Cardinals. These two teams matched up twice during their regular season, with the home team coming away with the win both times splitting the series. So a competitive game was expected. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the NHIAA Division III Boys Basketball Championship game between the number one seed Kearsarge Cougars and the third seeded Stevens Cardinals. If you thought the environment was exciting during the semifinals, you're in for quite a surprise, as literally every seat at Southern New Hampshire University's Fieldhouse was taken, with more than 1,500 energized fans in attendance. The atmosphere was intense, as neither Stevens or Kearsarge have ever won a boys basketball state championship, so the stakes could not have been higher. Both teams were obviously coming off of big semifinal victories, but the Cardinals even more so, as they defeated a very strong Hopkinton team by shooting a very impressive 60% from the field, winning by 16 points. If Stevens hoped to win their first state title, they'd have to play just as well and continue to knock down shots. Being physical with the 6'8 Taylor Matos was also going to be key, as the Cardinals are a bit undersized in the paint, but they've made up for it all year with tight in-your-face defense. The game began with a Kearsarge possession after Matos won the opening tip-off. Tommy Johnson wasted no time scoring the game's first bucket when he created space and hit a jumper from just inside the three-point line. But on the following possession, Stevens' Parker Smith drove to the hoop and drew in the defense. He kicked the ball out to an open Noah Spalding who drilled the open three, making it look easy. Kearsarge then gave the ball to Matos, who despite his height had trouble scoring over the physical Zach O'Brien, as Zach disrupted the shot and pulled down the rebound without fouling. But on the other end, the roles were reversed, with Matos Ding up O'Brien. Taylor was able to block Zach's shot, but the ball did go out of bounds. And after a missed three, Zach got two offensive boards and scored a hard-fought second-chance bucket. Tommy Johnson soon missed a jumper, and Parker Smith grabbed the rebound, fired up the court to a wide-open Richard Bell, and he laid it in for two. After a few back-and-forth possessions with zero points, Matos was able to sink a three-pointer from the top of the key. And then soon Tommy drove to the hoop himself and scored an unassisted bucket. Zach O'Brien would get fouled and hit one of two free throws. But it was Matos again who closed out the first quarter on a high note for the Cougars. After he converted an and one three point play, played stellar defense limiting Stevens points with blocks, and he hit a jump shot assisted by Johnson within the final minute. Kearsarge would take a four point lead with a score of 12 to eight heading into the second quarter. This was when the Cardinals offense exploded as Stevens came out on fire, immediately going on a 12 point run to take a shocking 20 to 12 lead, not even halfway through the quarter. Noah Spaulding, Parker Smith, and Nick and Zach O'Brien all scored big buckets as it appeared Stevens took complete control of the game, knocking the wind out of the Kearsarge crowd while igniting the Cardinal fans. But Kearsarge's Johnson wasn't about to let this game get out of hand, as he almost single-handedly willed his team back into the game, scoring 10 points over the quarter's final four minutes. With 15 seconds left to play in the half, Stevens held a five-point lead, and then Parker Smith drilled a three, giving Stevens a 32-24 advantage heading into halftime. Stevens scored a huge 24 points and shot nine for 15 from the field in the second quarter while also going 4 for 4 from beyond the arc. Kearsarge had to play better perimeter defense and limit their turnovers if they wanted to win. Coming out of the break, Kearsarge struck first, after the Cougars played tight defense stopping Stevens on multiple occasions. Kyle Hernan grabbed a defensive rebound, passed up to Tommy, who made an impressive behind the back dribble to avoid a steal, and pulled up for what he made look like an easy jumper.
He then pulled up for another J and nailed the shot on Kearsarge's following possession. But Stevens still held the hot hand as Zach O'Brien and Parker Smith both drilled big threes to push the Cardinals lead up to 10. This was the moment when everything changed. Kearsarge started to play superb defense and Johnson, Matos and Hernan all scored as the Cougars went on a 10-3 run to close out the third quarter. With under a minute remaining, it was actually a two-point game with a score of 36-38. But Stevens' Richard Bell added another three, which pushed their lead back up to five. But Matos was able to sink another bucket in the paint, which cut Stevens' lead to just three points heading into the final eight minutes of play. <laughs> to start the fourth, Kearsarge immediately tied the game at 41 apiece after Tommy Johnson hit the Cougars' second three-pointer of the day off an assist from Noah Tremblay. On Stevens' next possession, Matos, Hernan, and Burke all clogged up the paint, stopping Smith and Zach O'Brien from scoring. This stop right away turned into offense as Tommy then dribbled the length of the court, single-handedly taking the ball to the hoop for a layup, which put Kearsarge in front by two. Stevens called a timeout and the Cougars went nuts. With Coach Camp clearly excited, his team just came storming back from down 10 points just a quarter ago. You could tell the atmosphere had shifted as the Cardinals were all of a sudden desperate for points when at times earlier in the game it seemed like they couldn't miss. So with just over six minutes remaining, the Cardinals had possession. Parker Smith attempted to create space and he pulled up for a jumper. But Matos had it read all the way as he blocked the shot, stole the ball, and came charging down the court. Smith knocked the ball loose for a second, but Taylor recovered and laid it in for two, extending Kearsarge's lead to four. Matos and Burke both played great D on Zach O'Brien as he drove to the hoop, but the ball went out of bounds. And then after the inbounds, O'Brien was able to draw a foul on Tremblay, putting him to the line. Zach hit the first shot and missed the second, but he managed to grab his own board for a huge rebound. And once again, he was given the ball as he scored over the 6'8 Matos, using a few nice post moves to keep the big man off balance. This layup made it a one point game at 45 to 44 with five minutes remaining. Kearsarge then took a timeout to talk things over but their called play didn't work after Hernan missed a contested layup and the ball went out of bounds off Kearsarge. The Cardinals were then stopped on their next possession after Hernan and Matos clogged the lane with Hernan blocking O'Brien. So with four minutes left in the championship, Kearsarge was up by one. Johnson attempted one of his signature shots off a screen, but he missed. The ball bounced around and one of the more underrated moments of this game came when Kyle Hernan fought for the offensive rebound. He tipped the ball, which caused it to head out of bounds. But before it could, he made a desperation leap and shoveled the ball back in bounds to a driving Matos, who easily laid it in, extending the Cougars' lead to three. Over the next three minutes, neither team scored, as missed shots, steals, and turnovers were the story. But with 90 seconds remaining, Zach O'Brien bulldozed his way to the basket and scored, cutting the lead back down to one. After a couple non-shooting fouls from Stevens, Kearsarge had the ball with 30 seconds remaining. Tommy Johnson made a move and drove to the hoop, pulling in the Stevens defense. Tommy acted like he was going to pull up, but instead he made a selfless pass to an open Matos, who even through contact scored an easy bucket. So with 25 seconds left and down by three, Zach O'Brien once again drove and tried to make it a one point game. But Matos' defense was too strong and an out of bounds call that could have gone either way resulted in Keir Sarge's favor. Matos was immediately fouled after the inbound, so he went to the line shooting two with 12 seconds remaining. He buried both shots and extended the Cougars lead to five. Stevens called a timeout and Coach Camp told his team not to foul and remain tough as anything could happen. But the scenario was almost impossible for the Cardinals to overcome as Parker Smith missed a desperation three. Hernan grabbed the rebound and passed to Joe Starozic, who passed up the court to an open Matos as time expired. But Matos sealed the season off with a thunderous slam dunk as the Kearsarge Cougars won the NHIAA Division III Boys Basketball Championship for the first time in school history.
Tommy Johnson led all scorers with 27 points, shooting 12 for 22 from the field, missing the record by just eight points for the most scored by one player in the Division III championship. He also threw in three assists and grabbed two rebounds. Taylor Matos followed him with 22 points and a double-double with 12 boards. He also recorded seven blocks and an assist. Kyle Hernan put in the only basket not scored by Johnson and Matos, as he finished with two points, two blocks, an assist, and seven rebounds. And he also made that all-important out-of-bounds save, passing and assisting Matos, who scored what would eventually be the game-winning bucket. All five of Steven's starters scored at least seven points. The most important number that stood out on the stat sheet was field goal percentage, as Steven shot just 31% while Kearsarge finished shooting an impressive 43%. When Stevens went up by 10 in the third quarter, it seemed almost impossible for the Cougars to come back as between the second and third quarters, the Cardinals could not miss as they shot a combined seven for nine from three point range. But solid defense seemed to wear down Stevens as the Cardinals only scored 14 second half points and only five in the fourth after putting up 24 in the second quarter alone. They also only scored once during their final six possessions. Kearsarge can finally celebrate a long awaited boys basketball championship and it's especially sweet after the Cougars made it all the way here last season, only to come up short to Pelham. Kearsarge will lose one senior to graduation, Ray Critch, but for the most part, this team will be back for what should be another exciting, memorable season. Go Cougars! It truly was a championship matchup with both teams playing to the best of their abilities. You have to give Stevens credit. They played their hearts out and just came up short in what would have also been the Cardinals first boys basketball title. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when this YCN Sports Wrap special returns, we'll be bringing you post-game interviews with Coach Camp, Matos, Johnson, and a few other Kearsarge players to get their take on the win. We'll be right back. This YCN Sports Wrap special featuring the New Hampshire Boys 2017 Division III Basketball Champion, the Cougars of Kearsarge Regional High School is presented by Mascoma Savings Bank. They exist to serve you, their customers. Member FDIC. Baba's Bar and Grill in Newberry Harbor. Barton Insurance in New London and Kentucky. Sparks Hardware, what you need and how to do it. Flying Goose Brew Pub, award-winning, family-friendly restaurant and New Hampshire's first solar-powered brewery. Top Stitch Embroidery in Lebanon, the best for your team and so much more. <laughs> 